Ladies and gentlemen, howdy and welcome to the Canadian Cowboy channel. In this video, I'll be giving my early impressions of, drumroll please, Weird West, developed by Wolf Eye Studios and published by beloved indie publisher Devolver Digital. Weird West is an action RPG slash immersive sim, sim set in the Old West. However, instead of being a traditional Western, it is set in the Weird West. What does that mean? Well, lots of supernatural stuff like werewolves, don't worry, not Twilight, witches, zombies, and all sorts of strange creatures like myself. This subgenre gives the team a lot to work with, as opposed to being completely set in realism. I'm playing the game on PlayStation, you can also get it on Steam or on Xbox slash Game Pass. I'm currently seven and a half hours into this video game, and I am absolutely in love with it. Also, don't worry, there will be no spoilers here. Let me tell you why Weird West is a very unique game and why it is a must play. So without further ado, here are the main selling points for Weird West. Would you consider yourself a curious person? Do you love exploring? Do you love feeling rewarded? For your curiosity and exploration. Well good news then, Weird West is for you. Weird West feels like a living, breathing world. You are allowed to do anything you want, and I mean really anything. Want to kill every NPC and even the quest givers? Go for it. Want to steal from your friends? By all means. Want to do nothing except bounty hunting and making money? Go be rich. Weird West does have a main story. Yet, it doesn't really seem to care whether you experience it or not. The choice is yours. This is your Weird West journey to shape as you please. There is no right or wrong way to play this game. My experience has been starting the journey as Jane Bell, the former bounty hunter. We're basically on a revenge mission. She's, She's pretty, pretty much a silent character. You get to make the decisions. You are roleplaying as her. For instance, my Jane Bell is a nice lady, yet also a deadly cowgirl. She will kill bad people, but leave everyone else alone. And this very same character will feel a lot different to each and every player playing this game. To an extent, it almost feels like making your own story. In my early hours, I needed to make some money to pay someone for a service. So what did I do? I went bounty hunting a bunch, made lots of money, and then became obsessed with bounty hunting as it is so much fun. Then I decided, okay, now I have way more than enough money. I'm rich. So let's continue this revenge mission, which felt so liberating as opposed to most open world games or RPGs where it doesn't feel like you have this much agency over your story. Someone else could have simply remained broke and continued the revenge quest, or could have chased bounties forever and just get rich for life. Again, this is your story, your journey. Exploration in Weird West is key. The amount of times I explored completely optional and unmarked places during story moments and discovered something that made me go, whoa, this is insane. This is really, really cool. I lost count how many times this happened because it happens constantly and the rewards are completely worth it. Between money, lots of it, or finding some strange pig human people just wandering around or a person stuck in the rock as he is cursed forever and asks for help. There is so much to discover while exploring and it is your choice how you want to handle it. That's the point of it all. Whatever you want to do, you can. This is your Weird West. So I absolutely recommend playing Weird West. This is a very special game so far. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Let me know in the comments whether I've convinced you to play this game or if you're already playing it, share your thoughts. And of course, please subscribe for more coverage of Weird West and other Westerns. As always, I'll see you next time.